We are going to unfold the boat. <laughs> We've never done this before on land, so it's a little bit scary because we heard that if you don't potentially anchor it correctly, it could roll off the trailer, so. We would like to prevent that from happening. So we have one ground anchor. This is the same style of anchor that we used for our permanent mooring. We'll also make sure the AMA is held nice and firmly to the trailer itself. We've also still got all of our trailering straps on, so I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. So we're gonna anchor this side of the boat. And we're gonna open the port side AMA first. That ain't going anywhere. All right, let's do it. And put a couple of jack stands underneath. Yes. We've got our jack stands that we're gonna place underneath our beams to support our boat while we pull it off the trailer. But right now they're just plywood and I'd like to give our boat a little more protection. So I've got this really cheap yoga mat foam and then I've got some carpet. I'm gonna just cut these out and make a couple little pads for the jack stands. Is there a better way to do this? No, it's fine. How pregnant are you, Bird? Um, I'm in my third trimester. <laughs> not pregnant enough to not climb on the ground underneath a boat, huh? <laughs> just to be clear, I did not ask her to go under the boat. She did this under her own volition. Yeah. Just wiggle and see the drops of sweat about to come off your nose. <laughs> well, there's a connection up here I could have done. Cook. Yeah, we would have just been dangling the wire. Which is fine. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have had to climb out of the boat. Right, but you were already under there. I wasn't gonna tell you that when you were already under the boat. All right, so. To get this off. Got those wing nuts? Oh yeah, it's just wing nuts. You don't even need a tool. Speaking of being pregnant, I'm sure a lot of you didn't know that I was. I think we've only mentioned it once, but yes. Very pregnant. <laughs> Pregnancy, especially the second time around, for me has been one of the craziest emotional roller coasters that I think I've ever been on. It's been tough growing a human and parenting one at the same time. And I know I'm not alone in this endeavor, but sometimes I feel like I am. Trying to navigate it all has made me feel like I want to be more proactive with my mental health, which brings me to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. I actually tried BetterHelp a year ago and I didn't really feel like I connected with my therapist. And around the same time, it felt like my life was kind of back on an upswing. And so it didn't seem like I needed therapy. So I stopped. Not everyone needs therapy all the time, but when you feel like you want or need to improve yourself, BetterHelp is an affordable way to help you achieve these goals. This time around, I've got a different therapist and she's already helped me out a lot. The sign-up process is simple, it's easy, you fill out a questionnaire, and you're matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours. You can communicate with them however you prefer, chat, text, phone call, video call. If you're like I was and don't connect right away with your therapist, it's easy to switch at no additional cost. I am glad I tried again with a different therapist. If you'd like to be more proactive with your mental health, give BetterHelp a try. You can go to the link in the description, betterhelp.com forward slash sailing solianus. You'll not only help our channel, but you'll also receive 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So one of the things that I was pretty stoked about when we bought this boat, knowing that we were trying to stay out of boat yards, was that the seller had four jack stands <laughs> that he was willing to part with as well. Because now we have our own boat yard here. And that brings us to the other point is that these are great for under the beams so that we can move the trailer out of the way. But once the trailer gets out of the way, I wanna support the main hull as well. I don't wanna just hanging from the beams to take a little bit of the weight off. And I was looking online to find some jack stands. It was gonna cost us like six or $800 to buy a couple of little jack stands to go underneath the, the main hull of the boat. I found someone local online who was selling hardwood blocks 
yeah. for a dollar a piece. <laughs> so we went and picked up like 30 of them and we're just gonna build like a little uh, Jenga block tower underneath the main hall and so for 30 bucks, we have our, our supports for the main hall. But why are we doing this? Why are we taking our boat off the trailer and unfolding it? Last summer, after putting the boat in the water, we discovered that our depth sounder was leaking. And where it's located in the bow, it's directly over the trailer bunks. You can see oh, where it's, yeah. the depth sounder is sitting on the trailer. Okay. Probably because of this, exactly. Mm, this. You just cracked its seal. Yep. And the only way to repair it is gonna be to get the boat off the trailer. There you go. Thank you. All right, anything else preventing us from unfolding this, you think? I have no clue. I didn't check anything. So are all the- Good, so we're all set. <laughs> are all the ratchet straps untied? To oh, there's only the... one that went over this beam. Oh, I think we're good. <laughs> we're gonna go unfold this beast behind <gasps> us and turn the hog into a swan. Hog. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hopefully we don't need three people. Oh, Lordy. Hopefully there's some recovery state we can get this back into if all shit goes sideways. I mean, let's think about that real quick. So like, what are, what do we want to try and do if we can't get it up? <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna take off your top or? <laughs> we are descending quickly. Yeah. What, so like if the boat starts to roll somewhere or if we just can't get it Yeah, I don't know out. if we just can't get it all the way down. And for me to hold it somewhere while you come down and move this in, or I don't know. I hope this isn't dumb that we're trying to do this with two people. I wish we had a smaller, like a smaller jack stand that we could like temporarily hold the beam up, like a sawhorse. Well, the mass doesn't need all three. And then that way we can get it up and then set the float on the, the sawhorse. Okay. It at least gives us a midway point. Can you tell the GoPro to start recording? Hey GoPro, start recording. Is it set up for a time lapse? No. This video? Yep. Okay, in all its natural disaster glory. That's right. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. It wants to move. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay? Yep. Is it coming down on you? Because I'm not doing anything right now. Okay, go get a jack stand or come over here. Okay. Okay. You okay? Okay. Okay. Well, it's floating. It's totally fine. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's try and fold it down more okay. and get the beam in. Um, Alright, go ahead. Are you pushing? Okay. Um, this is going to be too tall. Maybe not. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna get that other one under the front. Okay. Holy shit, birds. All right, so that just takes a little bit of the weight off. Yes. This is gonna be another quack episode. Oh, beautiful Titanic. Have we talked about that yet? No, this isn't the time. <sighs> Boat didn't roll. Uh, the float didn't fling out. Also, it didn't try to suck back into the hull either. We got it to the point where it was floating by itself, even though it wasn't all the way out. So, it's all good. Okay, ready? Okay, we brought in the reinforcements. What's wrong? Hold on. So current problem is we can't get the port aft jack stand under the port aft beam. So yeah, we're yeah. trying to shimmy weight and the... jack stands to lift the go. back beam up enough so that we can get that jack stand under there. Can you hang one more time? Yeah, are you ready? Yep. Here you go. 
Did that do anything? Yeah, we're under. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is your goal to get the trailer out from under it? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Or why? There is a through hole up front oh. that we can't access because it's right on the trailer. It's leaking. It's actually leaking. Okay. So we want this to be level. Do you want to go up and look and see if it's level? Looking much more level now. That's solid. a little bit. All right, that's good. Okay. All right, they're all good. Okay. We've got a crack all, crack of light almost all the way out yeah. under. Yep. I think we're high enough. Two. Pull the, Pull trailer, the trailer out. out. <laughs> but first, I'm gonna get some marking paint and mark where the wheels went. Zoop, zoop, on both sides and then also where the tongue of the trailer went. He's so smart sometimes. We got the boat off the trailer successfully, but we don't need the boat this high. In fact, I'd rather it be as low as we can make it. But I also wanna make sure that we get the boat back up high enough so that when we back the trailer back in, we don't bash it into the boat. And so I've gone around and spray painted all the threads for each of the jack stands. And there's all my wooden blocks that I'm gonna build a little crib underneath. I think that's what the pro guys say. I'm concerned that when we start lowering this, the uh, paint's gonna get scraped right off. We could also uh, count the threads and then write it on the handle here. 15 threads. Okay, so, so put, this is iffy given all the dirt that's on yeah. it. Yeah, just put one five right, right there. Okay. Or put one five right here. <laughs> okay. All right. 36. Eh, at least it'll give us some reference. Yeah. We'll get close. Yep. It's funny because this is only ever working for this exact position. 41. On this exact yeah. ground. Yeah. And it'll never be the same. That's again. all right. We'll rub those right off. For, <laughs> yeah. 41. Yeah. Or we'll start doing addition and subtraction from those <laughs> each year. 26. Okay. Foolproof. <laughs> Six hours later. There is no trailer under there. We got our cribs built. Our jack stands are loose, but not too loose. And she is rock solid and level. Thanks for your help, Dad. Yep. That is a cool view. Definitely gotta change the name though. Daddy? Yes, babe? Can you fly me down from here? Sure. <laughs> Okay. It's called the, the cruise step. Okay, we're gonna go to the front of the boat and we're gonna work on fixing the leak, right? Yeah. Okay, you go forward. Okay. Dad, can you come too? Yeah, I'm coming right now. Keep going. There we go. Ooh. So this is our leaky through hole fitting. Doesn't that smell really good? It smells like, it smells like fresh wood. Yeah. Now this should come off. It's making funny noises, isn't it? Well, that is not exactly the way that I expected it to be. All right, I'm gonna go under the boat and look at this. See, this is our through hull fitting. There's no sealant here whatsoever. 
I don't know if the leak was coming from between these threads or on the outside of whatever this through hull piece is. But in theory, like we could put a little bead of something right here, screw this back up. I just, I don't know if that's the way that it's intended to be. I think what I want to do is go do a quick bit of research and see like what is recommended for right here. Yeah. Like what, how is it supposed to be sealed? Okay. Um, Cause maybe we keep it. So it may be cheaper than buying a new one. Yeah. Somehow this got like cross threaded or something. Yeah. Like, like, look at that, mm -hmm. that, I don't know. Maybe we still do want to take this out. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. I got a little resource to do though. Scraped most of what appears to be life caulk. I'm gonna break out the rotary tool now. This brings back memories. Oh, nothing like laying on gravel. This may seem ridiculous, but I'm almost like giddy with excitement to be laying on the ground in the dirt under this boat, working directly above my face with anti-fouling paint and scraping off life caulk and doing this on my own land. This is awesome. I'm quickly becoming super motivated to work on this boat and super excited for all the possibilities. Ha, ha, ha.